Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day so far. In today's video I'm going to be diving into this box of goodies here. I did a revolution order specifically from their website. When I ordered these things there was some sort of offer. I think it was 23% off using some code. I don't know but I ordered these so long ago that code won't be valid anymore but I got a few things, there were also a few new releases that were on the Revolution website that hadn't quite made it over onto Superdrug yet, so I wanted to get them so that I could be trying them out. But the three products that I'm going to be focusing on in this video are from the Euphoric collection. So they have an eyeshadow palette and I will say it doesn't say on this that it's an eyeshadow palette which I find a little bit suspicious. This just says that it's a pressed pigment palette so make of that what you will. I'm going to be putting it on my eyes but you take whatever precautions you want to do. Then I got the highlighter which is in the shade iridescent and this does actually look in the pan like it's going to be slightly darker than my skin tone but we will see how it looks on somebody incredibly pale, such as myself. And then I picked the lip gloss up that matches, like it's all in the same collection. And I didn't realise that this is a pH reactive lip topper. So I've never had a product like that. I'm going to see how that looks on my skin tone and things like that. But it looks quite a dark like hot pink. So I'm excited to see how it's going to look because it is a lip gloss. So it might be quite sheer, but then it's got that pH reactiveness to it. I don't know. So we're going to get into that as well. The other products that I got, and these reviews will be coming soon, I picked up the Vitamin Base Primer, the Moisturising Primer. And this is the one that's like meant to be a dupe for the Vitamin Rich Face Base from Bobbi Brown. I already have all of my <laughs> other makeup on, so I'm not going to be talking about this too much today. But I did pick this up doesn't have a scent that looks really nice and like creamy and hydrating so I'm excited to try that one then I also got the Revolution Pro Goddess Glow Cream Contour and Bronze this is the like contouring stick that's meant to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury wand thing it has the same packaging it's got the same like tip on the end of it but looks really, really nice. I love the like design of the tube and everything. Really cute. We'll get into that soon. Then I got two more shades of the Relove Baby Gloss. These are great lip glosses. I got a clear one quite a while ago and I use it all the time. They're really nice and hydrating. So I wanted to pick up two more shades. So I got Sugar, which is like a nude pinky everyday sort of shade and I also got Babe which is a bright red matches my nails quite nicely actually that one doesn't it <laughs> not intentional but excited to try these I don't know like how pigmented this sort of product would be but excited to dive into those at a later date and then the last products that I got were the I Heart Revolution mini chocolate shadow palettes I got the shade chocolate fudge which is like oranges and browns and then I got Raspberry Fool which is pinks and I feel like a five pan palette like this is so useful to have for like traveling and things like that obviously these were so so affordable so that was everything that I picked up and I'm going to be diving into these three products today from the Euphoric collection so I'm going to start with the highlight because I feel like I have absolutely no dimension in my skin because I don't have my highlight on yet. So let's swatch this on the back of my hand and see how dark it is. <laughs> see if I've made a big, big mistake. It feels very, very smooth. The Revolution highlighters are some of my all-time favourite formulas. So I'm excited to see how this one compares. <laughs> Okay, so I don't feel like that colour is too dark actually. I was worried that it would have more of a base colour, but it actually just looks like when it catches the light, it has that pink sort of undertone to it. Really, really pretty, really um, smooth. It hasn't got any sort of 
chunky glitteriness to it which is why I love the Revolution highlighters. They go on so smooth, so undetectable until it's like BAM and it catches the light. I just love that. So I'm going to take my regular highlight brush. I do believe all of the writing has rubbed off this. I use it in pretty much every single video. I do believe that this is the concealer brush from B Cosmetics, the Superdrug's own brand one. I do believe that's where I got it. If I'm wrong, one that's also great is the Real Techniques setting brush. Very similar, it's just slightly bigger, the concealer brush. Nobody asked, but that's what brush I'm using. So I'm going to swirl this much. Yeah, and see how we go. So I'm going to put it here. Okay, that's coming up a lot more pink on the skin than it did in that swatch. Obviously, it is quite pink. I can see that it is quite pink here but that is coming up a lot more pink on the skin than I was expecting it to from the swatch. It's very pretty. It's slightly dark. I can see that here, that is leaving a cast. So you know what? This would be a really pretty blush topper. Obviously there are so many skin tones deeper than me where this would be a fantastic highlight and I'm not discounting that, I'm just would a slightly lighter base have worked for fairer skin tones and then this could have worked for deeper like even medium to deep skin tones this would be absolutely beautiful when it catches the light that's really really pretty that's beautiful but straight on you can see that quite a bit it's layering up nicely you can make it like a lot more you can use a smaller amount and just have like a nice little glow. We know that that's not what I'm about. <laughs> I like to be seen from outer space. So layering it up more, it is giving more reflect. But I'm just going to bring this down a little bit further so that it blends in with the blush that I already have on so that it works more like a blush topper rather than a highlight. Just on my skin tone, I do still think it's beautiful. It's just... I would use it in a different way next time. I would just use it on the cheeks and then I would use a highlighter on top of it. So I'm not going to put that anywhere else. Normally I would put my highlight down the centre of my nose, across the cupid's bow, that sort of thing, but I'm just going to keep that on the cheeks and then I will move on to this lip gloss. I'm so interested to see how this is going to look on me. So close up, that's what that colour is looking like. I will swatch it on the back of my hand as well. I'm assuming this is going to be like the same sort of formula, the same sort of feeling as the baby gloss, the other glosses that we love do. It does feel similar. It's not incredibly pigmented. Like I say, it is a gloss, so it's going to have more of that sheer coverage. What does that smell like? It smells like very nostalgic to me. I can't place my finger on what the scent is but it smells great so let's apply this to the lips mm, that colour is beautiful that's I don't think I have a gloss that's this like hot pink but still quite sheer mm, I really like that it feels lovely if you've tried any of the baby glosses from Relove this feels the same as that it feels very very similar very sort of cushiony and hydrating and glossy but not too sticky it doesn't feel like that stringy sort of sticky glossy feeling that we all hate <laughs> like nobody likes that feeling so I'm going to wipe those swatches off the back of my hand and I will dive into that shadow palette Ooh. That gloss has left a little bit of a stain. This is just micellar water on a cotton pad. So is this going to stain? Is this going to actually leave like a little bit of this colour behind? I hope so. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> the only thing is now I'm going to do these swatches and now I've got a little pink spot. Ooh. 
So this is what the packaging looks like closer up. All of the writing down here is like holographic. It's really, really pretty. And then that's what the shades are looking like inside. This hot pink on the bottom row, that's the only one that's a matte. The others are shimmers. I assume some of these are going to be like toppers. Um, I can't quite tell. I think this one down here might be a topper, but Let's swatch them and let's just see how they look. <laughs> so that's how all of those shades are looking. I have sort of swatched them in the same pattern so that you can see which one is which. So this one here, this top lilac one is this one here. Obviously you can see which the, um, <laughs> the matte hot pink one is. So this one down at the bottom, I was right, is here. That's a topper, but so so pretty i'm immediately drawn to this pink shade actually this almost like salmony pink color that's really really pretty and obviously incredibly reflective but oh now what do i want to do i think i'm going to take a fluffy brush and try and work this one into the crease this shade here because it wasn't as i mean obviously it's reflective obviously it is but it doesn't look as sort of glittery as the other one. That one just looks more like a shimmer. This one, this salmony colour, is so reflective. I'm excited to get this on my eyeballs. So I'm going to take I'm going to take a small fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into this one on the top row. And I'm going to really tap off the excess so that it's not going to fling that glitter everywhere. Let me get my mirror so that I can <laughs> see what I'm doing close up. And I'm going to put this into the crease. So that's blending out really, really nicely. Obviously it's not ideal having to use a shimmer through the crease, but I feel like that has actually worked quite well. So I'm going to dip into the same, with the same brush, dip into that hot pink shade and just look how vibrant that color is. That's incredible. Again, tapping off the excess, I'm going to stamp this onto the outer third-ish. Third-ish. <laughs> That's just from that one swipe, and I feel like I still have enough to do the other side as well. That's incredibly, incredibly pigmented. So, that colour has just intensified the outer third of the lid beautifully and I've also gone in with more of a fluffy brush and I've just sort of done this sort of action to bring it out but so so softly and blend it into that first crease shade that colour is incredible imagine like a wing like a really solid wing just of that hot pink colour mm, beautiful so I'm going to go in with that pink shade that I said about, that salmon-y sort of pink colour and I'm going to use my finger with this rather than a brush just tap into that very very lightly again look down into my mirror and apply this on the middle of the lid and I'm tapping this over that hot pink to blend that in oh that colour's beautiful that's laid down really, really nicely, just with my finger. I'm just going to buff over it very, very lightly with that fluffy brush. No more product on it, just buffing over the edges. That looks so pretty. Those colours are all, I mean, obviously they're all in the same palette, so they're going to work together. But those colours are just beautiful together. So, so pretty. Then I'm just going to take a tiny tiny little bit of this lightest colour at this end. So this is the one that I said is more like a topper, that one was a lot more sheer, so that's that one there. A lot more cool toned, a lot more sheer. I'm going to take this one, which is more bright and a little bit warmer. So I feel like these ones are slightly warmer and then these ones are slightly more cool toned. So you can do like a variety of different looks. Um, and I'm going to use my finger again, just dip into that and tap it over the very centre, uh, the very inner bit, can't use my words, <laughs> the inner third of the lid, that's what I meant to say. Mmm, that's really really pretty. That has just brightened up the whole eye 
so much. You can see the difference between this one and this one. That's so pretty. And again, just buffing over that edge with a fluffy brush. I love how that's turned out. I really, really like this look. I wasn't expecting to like this so much because it's so shimmery. However, I feel like the shimmers are so versatile that I don't mind that. Mm. <laughs> I'm just going to take a tiny little bit of that lightest shade that we just put here. I'm going to take that on a very dense flat brush and I'm going to pack this onto the very, very inner corner just to brighten right in there. So that's the eyes done. I'm going to go off, do probably some winged liner. I'm feeling like I need a wing, mascara, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we're all done and I feel like this look has turned out so so nicely. I was a little bit concerned about so many of the eyeshadows being shimmery however I feel like this looks really pretty. It looks really like angelic, really soft which is why I feel like for me I needed this black wing and like big lashes. I feel like that for me and my style and how I like to wear makeup, I feel like that has finished it off really, really nicely. However, if you are more of a embrace your natural features kind of person, then this sort of wash of like pinky metallic across the lid would be so pretty with just like the tiniest little lick of mascara, even like a brown mascara, I feel like that would look so soft and so like fresh and perfect for spring. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you've picked up any of these products. As always, I will leave everything linked down below. If you want to see the review for those other products that I got, specifically these eyeshadow palettes, because I'm so excited to get into these, I feel like I could definitely recreate this look with this pink one. However, <laughs> I am so excited to get into this um, like orangey brown one too. So if you want to see those, they will be coming soon. You can subscribe and then you'll get a little notification when I post that video. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye.